Hello YouTube. We're going to use our thread restore file. Okay, now we measured the pitch of this bolt. Uh, sorry if my brain can't tell you whether it's a 3 8 bolt or not. But anyway, it's 16 teeth per inch. Okay, on this file you have an 8. Okay, that's what fits this. It skips every other one, so you have to move it over. So if you do it, you're going to have to move it over. I think you get the idea. But that's what fits it okay we have some pictures of what this looks like before with it mashed and then we're going to do it we'll have a picture to show you what it looks like afterwards i'm going to put gloves on this thing's pretty rough on your bare hands so we won't spend a whole lot of time on camera showing it but all i do is just and i i know they say don't run a file backwards but i'm not going to fall out of the groove And you can see filings coming out of there. Trying to see if I can get some to drop on my old nasty old gloves here. But I definitely wear some gloves. This thing's kind of rough on your hands. Sorry about bumping the camera. So we'll do that. You got to move over, like I said, because it skips. I took a close-up picture. If you really look at, you'll be able to tell. That's how big your computer screen is, but. And hope that you don't have it happen too much on the end. Trust me, this nut was not coming off after I smashed it with a hammer. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll bring you back when it's done and show you how easy the nut comes off. And when you're finally done, take a file and kind of go over it a little bit. Take the sharp, jagged peaks off. So, we'll bring you back when we're done. Okay. We're going to get right down here. I don't know if you can see it on camera because I've done it twice as I spin around. I said, if you have a bolt, replace it. But this is if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a bolt. It's hard to find bolt. But it does come off now. Trust me, it would not have came off before. 3 8 bolt. Let's make pause on camera. Yep, is that half inch turn one? 9 16 head. 3 8 bolt. I said it was 16 threads per inch, this file only has an 8, so it skips. The hardest part would be out on the end. You almost got to get out at an angle with the tool. I don't know if you can see it. You, know, you almost have to get out here, like, take one tooth if you have to, if you're getting in frame. Take, like, one tooth if you have to, and get out there and find work that, and then do some filing. But take your file when you're done. Get all nasty off there. You're not going to hurt it, especially without the end of the bolt, you're just trying to get the nut on and off. You know, say you had a bolt had extra thread, you know how to get smashed, banged up on a mower, tractor, or anything. You know, it was hanging out there and got wonked and you can't get the nut off. It'd be kind of hard on a, laying under a car or something doing it with a bolt hanging out, but... There you go. Come off with my bare hands, so... I'll show in the pictures, you'll be able to see the file laid on the bolt where it has to skip a tooth and we have a picture showing it, it was 16 threads per inch. So, hope this ain't too long, I just thought I'd demonstrate how I believe to use a thread file. I could be totally wrong, I'm open to any criticism. If I did the right thing, I used an 8 on 16 threads per inch and it had to, had to skip and keep moving it over. So, thanks again.